Because it's, you're right, it's up and down, it's sideways, it's whatever. Why did they vow never to marry? And how do they keep the love alive? I could hardly say that. Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn have been together for more than 35 years. These days, everyone wants to know their secret to becoming one of the most iconic and long-lasting couples in Hollywood. So let's see how it all began. You might think that the beginning of their relationship resembled a fairy tale because Kurt and Goldie met on the set of a Disney movie in 1966. It was a live action musical film titled The One and Only Genuine Original Family Band. However, they didn't start dating right after meeting for the first time. In fact, they only began their relationship almost 20 years after working on that musical together. You're probably wondering what took them so long. Well, in part, their age difference was to blame. I was 21 and he was 16, Han said to BBC Radio. I thought he was adorable, but he was much too young. I mean, I was like dating older guys, right? Years later, Kurt and Goldie met again on the set of another film. It was Swing Shift, and when Goldie saw Kurt, the actress recalled how much she had liked him all those years ago. And he used the cheesiest pickup line ever on her. The first thing came out, I just I said, man, you got a great figure. And, I, and it kind of came out quickly, and, and, and I could have been wrong. And she said, well, thank you. Although it's a line that might have repelled someone else, for some reason, it worked on Goldie. But even then, they weren't ready to start dating right away, because neither of them wanted to go out with another actor. After all, they would both had unsuccessful relationships and marriages with colleagues before, and neither of them wanted to keep making the same mistake. Besides, by that time, Goldie already had a son and a daughter, while Kurt had a son. But still, both of them just wanted to settle down. So they managed to set all their fears and doubts aside and give their relationship a chance. And it was probably the best decision of their lives. On their first date, Goldie and Kurt went to the Playboy Club in Los Angeles. They talked for hours and then decided to have some fun someplace else. They went to Goldie's new house, which was being renovated at the time. But there was one small problem. She didn't have a key to it yet, so they had to break in. Naturally, the police quickly showed up, thinking that these two lovebirds were intruders. Uh, we were interrupted with flashlight work, and so... <laughs> there's a... <laughs> so guys, come on, there's out an here, it's your house. <laughs> Quite a cute story for a first date, right? Well, they've been together ever since, so we can definitely say that it worked out pretty well. A couple of years later, their first son was born. And now, Kurt's son and two of Goldie's children from her previous marriage are accomplished actors. Wyatt Russell, Kate Hudson, and Oliver Hudson. To make Goldie and Kurt's life together even more perfect, all of them are pretty close. We all have dinner together quite often, Goldie shared. My daughter lives down the street from me, so I see her a lot. A year after becoming parents to their son, they starred in one more movie together. Overboard became an iconic comedy that pretty much everyone on the planet has watched at least once. But Kurt and Goldie didn't rewatch it until a few years ago. While giving this legendary film a go one evening, they went down memory lane and realized one important thing. You know how sometimes you forget why you fall in love? I remembered everything and why I fell in love. Isn't that sweet? Stay tuned for more relationship advice from Hollywood's most enduring couple. When you think about Goldie Hawn, you can't help but think about Kurt Russell. And vice versa. When you see Kurt, you always expect to see Goldie somewhere around. They're always together and yet, they're still not married. In fact, right at the beginning of their relationship, they decided not to get married. And they say that it's helped them a lot. The thing is, although both Goldie and Kurt have been married before, the marriages didn't last. I'm not saying that it wouldn't work again, but I didn't think that we really needed to get married," Han explained. I mean, what marriage ended up being, in many ways, is big business. She also clarified in an interview that marriage wouldn't help her in any way because she already felt devoted to her man. I like waking up every day and seeing that he is there and knowing that I have a choice. There is really no reason to marry, the actress said. So they feel fine just living together, but did agree that they would get married if their children wanted them to. We said if this is ever an issue, if the kids feel we need to do this, then we'll get married," Russell shared. But everyone has always been happy in the family and didn't want to change anything, so Kurt and Goldie never had to say their I do's. 
and to this day, they remain what people call the golden standard for living together and having a great relationship. When you look at Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell still gushing over each other after over three decades together, you probably want to know their secret. I know people always want the answer to that, Hawn once replied to this question. The answer lies within you. We're alchemists. You have to be alchemists. You have to be able to turn all kinds of metal into gold, and that's what we have to do. What a wise reply. But how exactly do you turn metal into gold? Goldie has a recipe for that. She says that the most important secret to a stable relationship is knowing when to depend on your partner and when to do things yourself. This applies to everything, including household chores. I believe that one person can't bear the whole burden because then their shoulders start getting heavy, Han said. The actress also thinks that both partners need to work on the relationship, and if one of them doesn't, it just won't work. Being together, for her, is like being two pillars holding the roof of the house. Another thing that is very important for Goldie and Kurt is sexuality. Stay as sexy as you can and make sure you focus on all of those aspects of a healthy relationship. Goldie recommends to those who want to build a similarly rock-solid relationship. And one more piece of advice from the golden couple, don't try to spend every waking hour with your partner. It's okay to spend some time apart. As Goldie says, the best recipe is to stay together about 68% of the time. I wonder how she calculates this amount. But of course, Goldie isn't the only one who can share her secrets. Kurt also spoke about what helps him keep the love alive. Early on in their relationship, they agreed that they wouldn't pursue their careers full on at the same time. I very rarely worked when I knew Goldie was going to be working, and vice versa, Kurt explained. It meant that the one who was working at the time could come home and spend time with the other one every day. Russell also says that he and Goldie share the same core value, their kids. And it didn't matter whether it was the son they had together or their children from previous marriages. They loved all of them as their own. But what Kurt loves the most about Goldie is how she can dance for him at any given moment. If the mood strikes her, she can do it in the bedroom, living room, hallway, or anywhere else. And Kurt will often join her. So don't let their ages fool you. These two are as young as ever in their hearts. And as if to make their long-lasting love even more meaningful in the movie industry, three years ago, the couple received side-by-side -side stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So now, their careers are cemented and linked forever in the stars. To you, I owe my wonderful life, simply put Goldie. I cherish you, Russell said at the ceremony, adding that he wouldn't want to be with anyone else but her. Aren't they the best? These days, Goldie and Kurt keep living together, raising their grandkids, and starring together in movies. Their most recent collaboration is The Christmas Chronicles Part 2, where they reprise the roles of Mr. and Mrs. Claus. The first came out two years ago, and it stole the hearts of viewers and critics alike. Have you already watched the sequel on Netflix? If you still haven't, make sure to do it, because it's high time to work on your holiday cheer. You'll definitely enjoy Goldie and Kurt's fantastic performances, as well as the film's sweet and heartwarming plot. Isn't that something we could all have more of with this challenging year finally coming to an end? And now I get to actually play Mrs. Claus to his Santa Claus it was sort of like a gift. It's no wonder that Goldie and Kurt loved working on the film together. And for Han, it was like another honeymoon, only filled with magic Christmas presents and elves. It was actually a great break from everyday life and a new way of being together, which was great, the actress said. In the second film, Han's character is much more involved in the storyline than in the first one. And it's even revealed that most elves in Santa's village see Mrs. Claus as the boss instead of Santa himself. To see how it all works out, be sure to give this film a go. It won't only immerse you into the Christmas atmosphere and make you feel the holiday spirit, It'll also give you a chance to see these two brilliant actors together, playing the couple who knows how to make miracles happen and keep their love alive. What can I say? It seems like you just can't keep Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell apart. But, I mean, you've got to want to be together. And as long as you... Why are you laughing? Don't you just admire how strong their love is? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.